storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. This week's episode of Geriatric Medicine didn't give us a whole lot of drama, but what it gave me personally was a lot of moments that I had to like rewind. Like, did y'all really do that? Did y'all really play that? Satan is at it again. Okay, so let's start off with Contessa's party for the kids. She wants to make up for missing their birthdays. She feels bad that she is not around like she really wants to be. And the only reason why Contessa, hey, if you listen and come to the camera, the only reason why you haven't been around is because you were trying to better yourself in Nashville. You were trying to complete a program before your before your complaining ass husband made you come back home. Because let's be real, you didn't want to leave Nashville. The nigga couldn't even hold it down in the house for 12 to 18 months while you was out in Nashville getting your certification or I, I don't know exactly what you was getting because I didn't, you know, I didn't become no doctor. I just play a doctor on YouTube for a check. So, <laughs> you know, while you actually save lives, I just, you know, make them laugh once they wake up from surgery. No. I wish, did I waste it on me? I guess I did. Now look, Contessa. You spending all this money on a party for your kids is not going to make up for lost time, but I ain't mad at you. And spending $15,000 I would normally frown at because I could have threw your kids a big ass party for $1,000 and a bucket of Popeye's chicken. But different strokes for different folks, you are in a way different tax bracket to me and your house didn't even need to be pressure washed. So... Go on here, Contessa. I ain't mad at you. Let's get on to Heavenly Kimes, a.k.a. Satan, 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 Satan. You have done it again. And that's why I picked this picture here, because I kept, I was looking just like Quad, a.k.a. Mary J. Blige. Did she? Did Quad? Quad, have you been in Mary J. Blige's closet? I just really want to know. How are y'all feeling Quad's new hair? Are you feeling a haircut? Or are you feeling the color? You know, you feeling a blonde, as y'all say down here, blonde, you know, when it's blonde. Y'all say blonde. They're looking like somebody's auntie. Heavenly set quad up on two blind dates and hit, I'm sorry, Satan showed us exactly why we don't let our friends set us up because they apparently, you know, seem to think that just because we might be single, uh, we might be a little down and out right now that we have lost all of our eyes, our ears, and we just have no taste all of a sudden. So, Let's just get right to it. The first Negro, I don't even remember his name, but I know he looked, he looked, did it a whole fool. This fool came into the restaurant, pot belly, receding hairline, baggy, unaltered jeans, just looking real sloppy doppy like. Then he sits down. He 47 years old. He got a one year old. I'm going to tell all the ladies out there, if you are dating a man and he's over the age of 40 and he still got a kid. That ain't graduated from kindergarten, you might run a run, sis, because he's still dipping in and out of his baby mama. Just food for thought. You might run a run, sis, because while you trying to collect your social security, he going to be trying to send this little, mm, this little, this little blessing to college. So, <laughs> ladies, beware. Then they go to ask him, well, what's your credit score? He said, I don't know, but I stay prayed up. What? You you don't know your credit score. You a whole dentist, but you don't know your credit score. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that Satan called herself Quad's friend, but this is what she set her up with. But like I said, Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And apparently you're trying to kill, steal, and destroy your friend's love life. Because with friends like that, I don't know who in the hill needs enemies. Then once Quad gets up, she goes to escape after the second dude comes to sit down. I'm going to get on him in a minute. I'm going to get on Fred Hammond in a minute. If you don't know who Fred Hammond is, he's a gospel singer that be up there singing about the Lord, but he can't shuck and job too long because he fat as hell and he be out of breath. So he <laughs> be singing about the Lord like that. God forgive me. I know I wasn't supposed to do that, but it's God know he fat as hell. So, I mean, why, why are we going to lie? So quad escapes to the dog on bathroom. This fool goes full fatal attraction and comes in the bathroom behind her. I don't know if he was, you know, trying to have a, a Glenn Close type of moment. If he was trying to do a Tia Mari type of moment, I don't know exactly what he was doing. And yes, Tia, we remember when you got, you know, you got banged out on that show, the game that was on the CW in the bathroom. We remember. Anyway, so he comes in a woman's bathroom and 
then heavily like I I I know this fool not in the bathroom with her and then she's running behind her, you know, just like it was just a hot damn mess. And at the end of the day, I think this really just showed everybody don't let your friends set you up because your friends gonna do you dirty. Satan, you should not have set up quiet with two nit with two dudes that you graduated school with that you had not seen. You didn't even know what they looked like. You didn't even know details. What the hell was this? I still believe there's some big black muscular football player banging out quads back behind the scenes. Ain't nobody telling me nothing. She got a smile on her face, and that ain't a smile of money. That ain't a smile of getting great. Speak your voice, great. Speak your voice, great. That ain't even the, the 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 face of getting him out of her life. That is her getting her back cracked on the regular in the way that great. Speak your voice, great. Speak your voice, great. Couldn't do it. Because he wasn't hitting that right. Quad had too much mouth. He wasn't hitting that right. So then we get, like I said, second dude, Fred Hammond. You know, he, I mean, the second dude that came out looked like he had ate the first dude that came to the date. And I mean, between the neck movements, the man boobs, I, Quad, you might want to run from him too, sis. That's all I'm going to say. I wasn't feeling damn one of those. Moving right along to Buffy and her breast uh, breast cancer scare. I really hope that everything turns out to be okay. And look, you know, this ain't nothing to laugh at, but this is a cautionary tale to everyone. When something is going on with your body, do not wait six months to go to the doctor. Do not wait until your arm has fallen off before you go to the doctor and let them know that your arm is sore. Just don't just just don't don't play with your health. And it also shows you that no matter what, money won't make you happy. Now, Lord, I will say I would like to have a lot of money so I can see. But money won't truly fully fulfill you because the one thing that Buffy wants is a biological child she's not able to have right now. And she can't even buy that. So that just goes to show you. We think that people that are paid ain't got no problems and they always smiling and happy. And they are not. And the last part of this review, we're going to talk about this party stress. I... For one, don't understand why people trip and stress off of a kid's party. Like Contessa was running around like she was in boot camp. Like, damn, Contessa, if you had that much gumption and that much, you know, if if your labia lips was that thick when it came to running your house, them kids would be in order and you would be able to be going to Nashville and know you coming home to a clean and orderly house. Because ain't no way I got three kids and y'all is running them up. You, you big enough to cut the grass, don't cut the grass. You, you big enough to wash clothes, wash clothes. You, you big enough to wash dishes. Oh, you can't reach the sink, clean up them toys and you know how to do that. Like, it, it, your house should not be out of order like that. You should be able to be gone and daddy be able to hold it down. And when all this fails, whoop some ass. Anyway, that was pretty much the episode. It wasn't a whole lot to it, but it definitely had a few moments that had me hitting that rewind button. Before I go, I want to shout out my sponsor. Shout out to Blessed Fragrances. Blessed Fragrances, what have you smelling like you just left a department store without paying that high? Ask the starving pool, <laughs> the starving pool, department store price. Then I want to shout out Lotus Radiance. Lotus Radiance makes bomb body butters and hair butters that would keep your curls popping and your melanin popping too. Make sure you check out my description box because they're always having a 15% off sale, just like blessed fragrances. And last but not least, I got to shout out Smile Love. Smile Love provides an alternative solution to traditional braces. Use my discount code STORM and then the letter M, like money. More money saved <laughs> to get an overall discount of four hundred dollars off your set of aligners, and you will be on your way to straighter teeth in no time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care for reviews, prescriptions, celebrity roasts, entertainment news, and the like. And I will catch you guys later. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.